Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is a broad field of computer science focused on creating intelligent machines that can simulate human intelligence. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence. At its core, artificial intelligence, or AI, is a vast and exciting field within computer science. Its primary goal is to create machines that are capable of simulating and sometimes even surpassing human intelligence. Think about tasks that normally require a human brain, like understanding language, recognizing faces, making decisions, or solving problems. AI aims to empower computers to do all of these things. The ultimate objective of AI is to enable systems to perceive their environment, to reason about what they perceive, to learn from experiences, and then to act intelligently to achieve specific goals. It's about building smart machines. As you can see from our diagram, AI is a broad umbrella term. Underneath it, we find several critical subfields that contribute to its power. The two you'll hear about most frequently, and which we'll delve into shortly, are machine learning and deep learning. Closely intertwined with these are neural networks, which serve as a foundational technique for how much of modern AI actually functions. These three areas are key to understanding the capabilities and advancements we see in AI today. Moving on to slide three, we dive into a crucial component of AI, machine learning or ML. Machine learning is a fascinating subfield of AI that gives computers a truly remarkable ability, the power to learn from data without being explicitly programmed for every single task. Let me explain the difference with our visual. In traditional programming, which you see on the left, we provide the computer with data and very specific step-by-step -step algorithms, essentially a set of rules and the computer processes these to give us a result. For example, if we wanted to calculate a sum, we'd give it numbers, data, and the addition rule, algorithm, and it would give us the sum, result. Now, look at the right side for machine learning. Here, the paradigm shifts dramatically. Instead of giving the computer explicit rules, we provide it with a lot of data, along with the results we want to see. The magic of machine learning is that the computer then learns the underlying algorithms or patterns that connect that data to those results. It essentially figures out the rules for itself. So, whether it's recognizing patterns in images, making predictions based on past sales, or recommending movies, machine learning models learn directly from the information they are fed allowing them to adapt and improve over time without constant human reprogramming. This ability to learn from experience is what makes ML so powerful and widely applicable. Now, let's explore neural networks, often abbreviated as NN. These are a fundamental programming technique used within machine learning, and they truly are one of the most remarkable innovations in AI. The core idea behind neural networks is incredibly elegant. They're inspired by the biological structure and function of the human brain. Just as our brains are made up of billions of interconnected neurons that send and receive signals, an artificial neural network consists of interconnected nodes, often called neurons, that process and transmit information. On the left side of your screen, you can see a very simplified example, which is called a perceptron. The perceptron is the most basic form of a neural network, representing a single artificial neuron. It takes multiple inputs, similar to how a biological neuron receives signals from other neurons, processes them with associated weights, and then produces an output, often a simple binary decision. The fascinating part is how these networks learn. When a neural network makes a mistake, it adjusts the strength of the connections between its artificial neurons, these are called weights, much like how our brains strengthen or weaken connections based on experience. This iterative process of learning from errors allows the network to gradually improve its accuracy and performance over time.
So, when you hear about neural networks, remember that we're talking about a computational model that, while vastly simpler than the human brain, tries to emulate its incredible ability to learn and adapt. Now, look at the right side for machine learning. Here, the paradigm shifts dramatically. Instead of giving the computer explicit rules, we provide it with a lot of data, along with the results we want to see. The magic of machine learning is that the computer then learns the underlying algorithms or patterns that connect that data to those results. It essentially figures out the rules for itself. So, whether it's recognizing patterns in images, making predictions based on past sales, or recommending movies, machine learning models learn directly from the information they are fed, allowing them to adapt and improve over time without constant human reprogramming. This ability to learn from experience is what makes ML so powerful and widely applicable. On this slide, we delve a bit deeper into how neural networks are structured and how they process information, specifically focusing on their layers of intelligence. Most neural networks, especially those used in modern machine learning, are organized into distinct layers that handle different stages of information processing. Think of it like an assembly line for data. First, on the far left, we have the input layer. This is where the raw data enters the network. If our network is designed to recognize an image, for example, the input layer would receive the individual pixel values of that image. If it's processing text, it might receive numerical representations of words. Next, the data flows through one or more hidden layers. These are the computational powerhouses of the network. Each neuron in a hidden layer receives input from the previous layer, performs calculations, and then passes its output to the next layer. These hidden layers are where the network learns to identify complex patterns, features, and relationships within the data. The more hidden layers a network has, the deeper and often more capable it is of understanding intricate information. This layered structure, with information flowing from input through various stages of processing in the hidden layers to a final output, is what enables neural networks to perform such sophisticated tasks and mimic complex cognitive functions. Building on our understanding of neural networks, let's now look at deep learning, often referred to as DL. Deep learning isn't just a new type of AI, it's an advanced evolution of machine learning that has truly revolutionized the field in recent years. The key differentiator for deep learning lies in its use of what we call deep neural networks. As you can see in the comparison on your screen, on the left, we have a representation of a simpler or shallow neural network with just one or perhaps a couple of hidden layers. But on the right, you see a deep neural network. The most striking difference is the sheer number of hidden layers, often tens, hundreds, or even thousands of them. This incredible depth is where the deep in deep learning comes from. Why is this depth so important? Each additional hidden layer allows the network to learn progressively more abstract and intricate patterns from the data. This hierarchical learning enables deep learning models to handle highly complex tasks that were once considered impossible for computers. They can automatically extract features from raw data, eliminating the need for human-engineered features that are often required in traditional machine learning. It's this power of deep neural networks that has fueled many of the recent breakthroughs in AI. If you look at the icons below the deep network, you'll recognize some of its incredible applications, from highly accurate image recognition that can identify objects in photos, to sophisticated speech recognition in virtual assistants, and even the complex perception systems driving autonomous vehicles. Deep learning is at the heart of these transformative technologies, unlocking new possibilities in how machine understand and interact with the world. On this slide, we're taking a closer look at the distinctions between machine learning and deep learning. While deep learning is technically a subset of machine learning, it's helpful to understand their key differences as they have distinct characteristics and applications. Let's go through the chart. First, consider the scope. 
machine learning is a broader subset of AI encompassing many different algorithms and approaches. Deep learning, however, is a more specialized subset within machine learning specifically focused on neural networks with many hidden layers. Next, looking at data. Machine learning models can often perform well with smaller to medium-sized datasets. They might still require a good amount of data, but not necessarily the massive quantities that deep learning thrives on. Deep learning, on the other hand, craves data. It performs best and unlocks its full potential when trained on extremely large datasets. Regarding training, this is a significant difference. In traditional machine learning, there's often a crucial step called feature engineering. This is where human experts manually select and transform raw data into features that the algorithm can understand. Deep learning, however, excels at learning these features on its own directly from the raw data. This end-to-end -end learning capability is a major advantage as it automates a typically laborious human task. For the output, Machine learning tends to produce simpler, more interpretable algorithms or models. You can often trace back how a decision was made. Deep learning, due to its complexity and numerous layers, creates highly complex and abstract algorithms. While incredibly powerful, they are often considered black boxes because it's harder to understand the exact reasoning path they took. Finally, regarding hardware, machine learning generally requires less computational power. You can run many ML models on standard CPUs. Deep learning, with its vast number of calculations across many layers, is highly computationally intensive and typically requires specialized hardware like GPUs, graphics processing units, for efficient training. So in essence, deep learning is a more advanced, data-hungry, and computationally intensive form of machine learning that automates more of the learning process, leading to breakthroughs in highly complex tasks. And that brings us to the end of our deep dive into the foundational concepts of artificial intelligence. Throughout this session, we've journeyed from the broad definition of artificial intelligence itself, understanding its goal to simulate human intelligence. We then narrowed our focus to machine learning, recognizing its power to learn from data without explicit programming, essentially shifting the paradigm from data plus algorithms equals results to data plus results equals algorithms. We explored the fascinating inspiration behind neural networks, seeing how they mimic the human brain's interconnected neurons and learn through iterative adjustments. We then understood their layered structure, moving from input to hidden to output layers. Finally, we escalated to deep learning, the cutting edge subset of machine learning that utilizes deep neural networks with many hidden layers, unlocking breakthroughs in complex tasks like image and speech recognition. We also clarified the key distinctions between machine learning and deep learning, particularly in their data requirements, feature engineering, and computational demands. I hope this overview has provided you with a clear and engaging introduction to these essential AI concepts. Understanding these fundamentals is crucial as AI continues to shape our world. Now that we've covered the core concepts, it's time to put your knowledge to the test with a quick, interactive exercise. To help solidify what we've learned, I've prepared a short 10-question quiz. Each question will pop up one by one, allowing you to select your answer, receive immediate feedback, and then move on to the next. It's a great way to reinforce your understanding. Please click on the link provided in the description or chat to access the interactive quiz. It will open in your web browser. Take your time with each question, Think back to what we've discussed on the slides and see how well you've grasped these fundamental AI concepts. Once you complete all 10 questions, you'll get your final score. Go ahead and give it a try. Good luck. Goodbye for now, and thank you.